Hi people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing today? I hope you're having fun and staying safe. Welcome to another episode of This Dev Life. You know, we'll talk about developers, their daily life, challenges they face every day, and how we overcome these challenges every single day. On the show today, I have another guest joining me. She's an amazing person of, you know, the coolest people I know in the industry today. Uh, she's my sister. And I want to give a warm welcome to Fonyi Olaji De Bello, aka Fonyi B. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dara. It's great to be on your show. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, thanks for thanks for thanks for joining us. I wanted to go ahead and introduce yourself to our listeners today. Hey, so my name is Fonyi Olaji De Bello. I am a consultant with Avanard, and I have been in the tech world for quite some time now, about 12 years, basically doing a lot of deployments around Microsoft's cloud technologies. So from the days where we had to set up servers, you know, physical servers, to when we started using virtual machines, and now to the cloud. And all of these uh, experiences that I've had and all around Microsoft technologies, around collaboration solutions, around making the knowledge worker better, which is what I still do now with the Power Platform, um, helping people do more with less. Uh, shockingly, uh, even though you've been in industry, in, we basically in Microsoft Tech Space together, but I only got to know you when you became a Power Platform developer, what was it like transitioning from infrastructure world and cloud deployment world to the Power Platform world? What was it like? Well, I'll say, first of all, it was an amazing experience because, you know, the speed at which you could develop applications and push to your, your consumers, that's your users, was very fast. So I found that very fascinating. Like the first app I built, I was really excited. And wow, it actually looks like a real application and not just like a form, which was what we were doing with InfoPath back then. But was the transition easy? I would say no, because I had a lot to learn. Being a system developer, I wasn't a pro developer in, prior to Power Platform. So it was a lot of learning and continuous learning for me. But yes, it got stable thanks to the community and all the amazing people around, all the MVPs, the articles, videos were very helpful and instrumental to my learning. Wow, thank you. Thanks for that. So uh, now we've met Foyi. She's Foyi B everywhere, just in case you want to know, just go to Foyi B. Our website is coming up very soon. <laughs> so watch out for that. Um, so what so back when you decided to go for tech what was the pushing force for you what was the motivation to come into the technology space and explore and be a consultant deploying servers then what was also the motivation for coming switching over to the power platform what, what was it like yeah so coming into the power platform was was kind of the, the motivation around it was like i explained before i was coming from a collaboration world where we're trying to help people do more as quickly as possible by helping them automate their processes, using tools like SharePoint Designer, extending it with the possibilities of Mintex and other third party tools. So I was already kind of in that world and passionate about helping the knowledge workers do more with less. So when I got to know about the Power Platform, it was just a win-win scenario for me. I was super excited about it because this now enabled that passion that I've always had to come to reality faster. Mm, so you've always wanted to be someone who put solution right in the front of people. Yes. And the path of phone enabled you to do that quite easily without having to learn how to write C sharp, Python, <laughs> JavaScript and all uh, crazy exactly. developer <laughs> languages. Which is really cool. Uh for me, I think being a pro developer, learning SharePoint was it's tip cough for me, but Plow Platform, I got to understand some of the core technologies that run behind is uh, SharePoint, then it made me appreciate SharePoint a lot more than I could relate to it when I do something here. I know, hey, this is SharePoint actually doing the work. And I'm like, okay. I like, then I started to go for the certification in M365 Develop, and it was really cool. You know, uh, so, um, 
you are a consultant now with Avanad. Uh, shockingly, at work, I'll be doing some training with Avanad in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so, you're a consultant with Avanad in Ireland, I suppose. Uh, what does your typical day as a consultant, as a technical person with the power platform look like? What does it look like from waking up to going back to bed? What goes on in between those times? Well, I'm a mother of three, <laughs> three children under 10. And, you know, so my day, if they are going to school, starts with school run. You know, I have to get them ready, get them dressed, get them off to school, and then I come back and set it and start my day. Now, in work life, it's more about helping our clients solve their day-to-day -day problems. How can they do more with less? How can they achieve more with the current um, um, platform that they have? You know, and that's what Power Platform brings to play. So helping them to drive adoption, creating something like a bot using the Power Virtual Agent, you know. So for a consultant, it's more of, first of all, you have to always be very knowledgeable, right? Know what Microsoft is doing, understand what is next, which is what the MVP also gives to us because we have all those product group interactions with Microsoft's engineering team are able to know what's coming next. So that's always important for a consultant. You always have to know what is next. And then you take that knowledge and channel and advise your customers and my clients um, appropriately. So we help them to know, okay, this is what the plan is, this is what Microsoft is doing next. And then ensure that they are on the right track. Then go ahead and start architecting the solutions and developing, implementing those solutions for them to address their needs. Another key thing is you're also ensuring that technology is also aligning the business requirements, right? You want to help the business get to where they want to get to. As a consultant, you don't want to propose what it is that is not in their vision. Mm -hmm. So whatever technology you're bringing in is supporting the business goal and the business objectives and is aligning to, to that. So that's also one of the things that is priority for me um, and in my life as a, as a consultant. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think the key point where you made there was uh, being able to let the technology be a solution to their business requirement, not just pushing the tech down their exactly. throat without seeing many people do. So your job basically is to say, this is this problem you have a challenge or something you're trying to solve, this is the goal you're trying to achieve and bring in the tech and say, oh, this tech could work, this one could work, which one fits better and then plug it in and then make their lives better. That's like that sounds like a fun day solving problems. Yeah, yes. Every business is better. <laughs> yes. Uh, we also have those days, you know, as a developer, where you're trying to crack a problem and you are you're just sitting there for hours trying to figure it out, you know. So yeah, you have those days too. Yeah, and I think that brings us to the next section, which is to ask what. Yeah, it's all fun when it works, <laughs> but when it doesn't. Uh, or maybe even some external challenges come along the way. Uh, and then it sometimes get, why the hell did I get to this field? <laughs> uh, what are those challenges you face every day as a developer, as a consultant? And how do you navigate those challenges? Maybe you could share about two or three of those with us. So for me, um, most of the challenges I face comes from the fact that I, well, I mean, I, I'm not a pro developer, right? So you're yeah, trying to understand developer terminologies, are trying to understand how this thing works, you know? So um, a simple example would be, I, I was doing something recently with um, graph API calls, and I was trying to figure out, okay, what does, what does this HTTP verb mean? <laughs> Special thanks to Dara. I was able to understand, okay, these are called HTTP verbs. So I'm like, oh, what does HTTP verb mean? Or um, how can I use it? Starting to read Microsoft articles and put all the pieces together. You know, so those are some of the challenges I face. Even as a system developer, there is, you still need to have some level of understanding of how development works. Not necessarily the code, but the concepts and what, how, how it fits and plugs into each other. So those are most of the um, challenges I face daily. So I have to read a lot, watch videos, and you know, also talk to people in the community to ensure that okay, I'm getting it right. I'm plugging, plugging in my gaps. And for me, like I always tell people, um, you can't compare your your three days journey with somebody's five years journey. 
right? So what's most important is I'm constantly improving myself and I'm not where I was three months ago. I'm not where I was six months ago, you know? And when I look back to where I was when I started learning how platform, you know, when I didn't even know what a variable was, I'm like, what's this variable? What is composed? What, is, what are all these things? And where I am now, I know that I've, I've, I've really grown really a lot. So yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. Um, now, when you look back now, you probably tell yourself, yes, I made the right decision coming to this field, uh, switching from cloud deployment to uh, core, be a core developer on the Power Platform. Now, if you were to advise yourself 12 years back, coming to the field, coming to the tech field, what are those two, three advices you would want to give yourself to maybe become better or get achievements in a faster pace? What advice would you give to that younger self of yours? Well, I think one of the first advice I will have given is, or I would give is always strive to be a better version of yourself every day, right? This is not a three months plan or a six month plan. It's a daily plan, right? At the end of each day, you need to be able to say this is what I have learned today. This is what I've added to my knowledge today. You know, no single day should pass without additional knowledge of some sort and to yourself because it's those bits and bits and bits of knowledge that comes together to form the whole knowledge block. The second thing I would say is understand development. It's important. Understand the fundamentals of development, right? Maybe you want to be a developer. Understand it. Take some one programming one on one course. Understand what it means. Understand the concepts. Understand how it works together. When they say unit testing and and all all of those things, understand. You need to understand it. Even if you have no intention of becoming a pro developer, it's important, you know. And also understanding the the fundamentals of use U, UI and UX, user interface and user experience. It's important because all those things come to play when you are building your app, right, in Power Apps. You know, you need to be able to understand user interface and user experiences to give that beautiful looking application, you know. So those are some of the things, uh, some of the technical, personal advice I'll give myself. And then also community. I mean, 12 years ago, the community wasn't as, as big as it is now, right? But now the community is really big and it's really massive. And my advice would be stay connected to the community. It's full of amazing people. People are ready to support you. People who you can also mentor, you know? So it's like, well, you're giving, you're getting and you're giving back. And this is what keeps everything just going continuous, continuous. This community is very helpful. Stay connected, stay committed <laughs> to the community, yes. Yeah, so I, I, I think the, the point that stood out for me was understanding what is behind that external tech and tool you use. Uh, I think it applies generally to everybody. If I'm learning how to play the sax, I must understand a bit of how code works. Uh, if I'm learning the plat platform, I will be doing HTTP calls. I should understand a bit of how those HTTP stuff actually work. If I'm a developer trying to deploy apps, I should understand a bit of how networking works, how machines work. And I think uh, that really, really stands us. Now, before we call it a wrap, uh, your mic is muted. Uh, before we call it a wrap for the day, uh, do you have any final words for our listeners on the show today? This is where you pour out your heart to our people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think I've said a couple of them, you know, during your last question about what I was said to myself some years back. Um, be your own cheerleader, right? Mm. Be your own cheerleader. Don't wait for somebody to cheer you up. Cheer yourself up every morning, you know. You can do this. I, 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 I've got this. Like I watch, I watch Dara's video. You've got this, <laughs> <laughs> and it was really nice. 
so be that person that you know always always cheer yourself up i can do this i can be the best of myself you know i'm 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 going to be the best i i have a lot of potential in me i've not i'm not there yet this is just the beginning i've done so much yeah, celebrate your wins your small wins and also um stay connected to the community i'm very passionate about the community like you know i started out textilers we have a couple of other women now joining to make this a reality and all we do is well helping and supporting the young women out there who want to get started with technology right so we have amazing tech mentors who are giving out their time every weekend to sit with these ladies and this is not just like a show and tell they are saying click here drag here this is how you create your first app move it you know you make very very tiny actually teaching granular concepts of technology you know across the power platform and other microsoft related technologies so i think any woman out there if you want to join us please dara is going to drop all of the links to a textile has please join the community it's completely free <laughs> completely free and we're, we're just so determined to help get more more women on board in technology right so you say what about the men yes for the men we have our larger power platform nigeria community and all of our events so you can join us in that also so yes um thank you so much Dara, for for having me those are like my my final my final words yeah thanks for coming on Thanks very much for coming. I think this is one of the most enjoyable times of April. Well, it's still early April, but I think I've enjoyed I've enjoyed uh, talking to you today and getting to know. So, if you're listening right now up until this point, it means you like what has been said. So, take time to go through the description. Uh, I'll drop the links to follow for you online. She's amazing. She's an amazing person to have in your corner. Our uh, textilers, as a woman, as a young girl, as an old woman, a wife, a mother anything you are come as you are to learn technology and this thing is all for free nobody's asking for any money so you can actually literally join learn this stuff and start earning some cool cash for yourself <laughs> if you're in for the money of course <laughs> and i think with that um i'll say thanks for joining today's show uh for it's nice having you uh our listeners for listening up until now thank you for watching thank you for listening until i come your way again with another guest on this day of life you know how i say it stay devy and stay safe goodbye thank you